This majestic volcano is Mount Cleveland, which is part of the Aleutian Islands in Alaska. Its perfect steep cone shape is probably what most people think of when they imagine a volcano. In the western part of Unaska Island, close to Mount Cleveland, we find this mountain with a gentle slope. This is also a volcano, but it is much flatter than Mount Cleveland. Why are the two volcanoes so different? This is because they are two different types of volcanoes. In general, we can differentiate between so-called shield volcanoes and so-called stratovolcanoes or composite volcanoes. The volcano on Unaska Island is a shield volcano. Their main characteristic is that they are gently sloped mountains that look rather flat. This is also where they get their name from. They resemble a warrior's shield lying on the ground. The volcanoes of Hawaii are all shield volcanoes. Actually, Mauna Loa on Big Island is the largest volcano on Earth in terms of size. Even though it looks quite flat, this shield volcano rises more than 9,000 meters from the seafloor to its summit at almost 4,200 meters above sea level. In the previous video, we looked at eruption styles of volcanoes. Eruptions at shield volcanoes are typically effusive. They form lava flows that are usually of a low viscosity and can flow several kilometers to tens of kilometers away from the volcanic vent. Because the lava is of a low viscosity, the single lava flows are not very thick, up to a few meters or so. Therefore, if you imagine a volcano producing thin lava flows that flow far away, this volcano will not become steep and gets a rather flat shape, the shape of a shield volcano. A stratovolcano, also called composite volcano, is characterized by steep slopes. When such a volcano erupts, the eruptions can be both explosive and effusive. During explosive eruptions, ash and larger components are deposited around the crater and can pile up to build a steep cone. And when stratovolcanoes erupt effusively, they normally extrude very viscous lava that forms thick and short lava flows. In extreme cases, these flows are so viscous that they get more than 100 meters thick. Since the lava flows at stratovolcanoes are short and thick, they form a steep edifice when they are erupted one after the next. This and the explosive products that pile up during explosive eruptions make the steep conical shape of a typical stratovolcano. Stratovolcanoes get their name because they are made up of layers or strata of solidified lava flows and volcanic ash from explosive eruptions. In summary, we see that the type of eruption and also the type of lava erupted at a volcano determines its shape. Shield volcanoes are characterized by calm, effusive eruptions forming thin and long lava flows, while stratovolcanoes can erupt both explosively and effusively, forming either thick lava flows or explosive products that together pile up to a steep volcanic edifice. Of course, in nature we find also everything in between a shield volcano and a stratovolcano. Mount Etna, for example, shows characteristics of both volcano types. It has a rather flat base, typical for a shield volcano, and then a steeper edifice on top of it that forms the summit and resembles more a stratovolcano. When Mount Etna erupts, it can do so explosively, forming a lot of ash which is typical for stratovolcanoes. But it can also erupt effusively, and when it does so, it forms rather fluid, thin lava flows, typical for shield volcanoes. In the following two videos, we will have a more detailed look at both shield and stratovolcanoes. See you there!